Markets usually end up in an equilibrium. The mechanism behind it is often difficult to grasp for students. No, it's not. Even a kid could do it. What will you learn? You will learn that whenever the price is too high for an equilibrium, it will fall. You will also learn that whenever the price is too low for an equilibrium, it will increase. $1.5 is the equilibrium price. You can see this because it will generate the same demanded and supplied quantities. Let's try it. To find the demanded quantity, we move horizontally to the blue demand curve and then vertically down. Quantity demanded is 5. To find the supplied quantity associated with a price of $1.50, we move from a price of $1.50 horizontally to the red curve and then vertically down. Therefore, for a price of $1.50, quantity demanded and quantity supplied are simultaneously equal. This is an equilibrium. We saw that a price of $1.50 creates an equilibrium where demanded and supplied quantities are the same. The question is if the market will automatically generate a price of $1.50. To answer this question, we start with a price that is greater than the equilibrium price, for example, $2. We can see that a price of $2 generates a situation where quantity demanded is less than quantity supplied. How can we see that? The quantity demanded is further to the left towards smaller numbers than the quantity supplied. Pause the video and check it out for yourself. What happens if less goods are wanted than are supplied? Right, the price falls and thus moves towards the equilibrium price of $1.50. What if the price is smaller than the equilibrium price for $1.50? For example, $1. We can see that the quantity demanded is now greater than the quantity supplied. Pause the video and find it out for yourself. What happens if more goods are wanted than are actually supplied? Right, the price increases and thus moves towards the equilibrium price of $1.50. At the end, no matter if the price is too high or too low, the market pushes it towards the equilibrium. Here's a good thing. When markets anyway reach an equilibrium and we understand the process once, we don't have to bother with the mechanism anymore. We find the equilibrium and know that this is where we will end up.